Hi everyone, it's Lucy Dreamer back with another indicator showcasing video. In this video, I would like to showcase you the inverse Fisher transform combo indicator by the man himself, Kvanj Özbilgic. A mouthful of Kvanj Özbilgic because I strongly believe that this man is the main reason that it's a privilege to be Turkish in the crypto trading community as he shared this inverse Fisher methodology developed by John Ehlers more than four years ago with us Turkish traders on his YouTube channel and today uh, I would like to uh, make an English interpretation of it for you international traders uh, for his behalf I hope it will be helpful the inverse Fisher methodology applied on more than in, you know, 15 indicators, I guess, by Kvanj Özbilgic himself, is aiming to get rid of excessive signals developed uh, by the indicators themselves, in the indicators that the filter is being applied on. What do I mean by that? Now we have the inverse Fisher transform filter on stochastic, as you can see here, with the default settings. And this is as well is the default stochastic. As you can see here, that the stochastic has excessive buy and sell signals uh, on its default settings. But as you can see here, that the inverse Fisher is telling us to hold up until this point, then it's a sell and it works. And of course, not all the time. So the thing is that we buy when the inverse Fisher the mentioned inverse Fisher filtered indicator <laughs> crosses the 0.51 line minus 0.5 line we buy and when it crosses down the 0.5 line down downwards then we sell right same applies with RSI as well and with uh, the over bought and oversold indicators in general they either give all signals like crossing uh, down and above the specified overbought and oversold areas so much that it's painful as you can see here that the RSI crossed its overbought level around here at the daily chart and then here again and then cross down and then he up here again and then down here again as you can see the inverse Fisher RSI is doing nothing uh, this is the main reason that I really like this uh, filtering method so much uh, I think that you get the idea we are getting rid of all the excessive signals we're smoothing them and this enables us to use an overbought oversold indicator which is mainly used for its divergences RSI to be a in, to be an indicator which gives us buy and sell signals just like a MACD crossing or any moving average crossing does right so let's get rid of these and let me tell you more about the indicator in this Inverse Fisher Transform combo, we have RSI, we have CCI, it's CCI version 2 by Kvanj Hocam, Hoca means Turkish, the teacher, sorry, in Turkish. We have MFI, which is also impressive because it enables us to use a volume indicator like MFI as a momentum indicator with specified buy and sell signals let's get stochastic as well and now we have the average line the average of these four let me plot the averages orange you can of course uh, change the settings upon your liking but uh, same with as Kvanj Özbilkic I don't really recommend doing that but uh, you can why not it's five a Fibonacci number maybe you can make it three if you're a short-term trader maybe you can make that eight maybe you can you know mess with the smoothing as well 
you can do any sorts of things and as with any momentum indicator i really think that this indicator should be used uh, according to the trend what do i mean by that you can check for higher highs or higher lows so let's get our higher high and higher low indicator by lonesome w if the market is making higher highs and high, higher lows then you can check for a reverse official buy signal if it's making lower lows and lower highs like in here then you can check for a sell signal as you can see that these two these three lines are uh, on selling condition the average is buy but and this at this point the cci and the well, stochastic line crosses down below and a higher high a higher low and then a low again around here even though these lows these highs are lower than the previous ones or let's check around here for example we had a buying signal according to the direction of the trend from inverse fisher few days ago let's see where the price will take us i don't want to talk more i don't want this video to be more than six minutes and 40 seconds. Bye.